The first time I used add-ons, I had just watched a video about Mathlas Designer and its incredible clothing design features. I had made clothes before in Blender, but Mathlas Designer was a whole different level. I wanted a way to design clothes in Blender, but it seemed nearly impossible compared to how simple and easy it is in Mathlas Designer. So I googled easy way to make clothes in Blender, and the top result was an add-on called Simply Cloth Pro, which had just launched, and it was exactly what I needed. This got me thinking, what else? did I assume was impossible in Blender but could be achieved easily with an add-on. So I did what I usually do, I watched a bunch of demo reels and trailers for Cinema 4D, Unreal Engine, 3ds Max, Maya and Houdini, making notes of their features and what Blender add-ons could replicate what they do. So let's try that approach again. Before we jump into these new add-ons, make sure to check out my new course on mastering geometry nodes. I'm working on adding some new lectures this week and I plan to add more and more lectures as we go because you know Blender keeps evolving, so does geometry nodes and the world of procedural generation and motion graphics is wide. So when you get the course, make sure to always go back and check for new content. Unreal Engine has an inbuilt feature that lets you blend objects that are close together so that you don't have a harsh cutoff. This is great for making roads, mountains and grass. Doing this is possible in Blender but it's quite complicated. You have to create a lot of different nodes for every material and every object so it can become very complicated. But as you might have guessed, there is an add-on that makes it very very simple and that is the Flow Blend add-on. It can blend materials depending on, on how close they are and other geometry properties to create a seamless blend that is procedural and customizable which can make your scenes look more realistic. Another fantastic feature of Game Engine is their ability to let you control and animate the cameras directly with a gamepad. This makes it easy for you to direct your movements without fidgeting with keyframe animations. Thankfully, there is also an add-on for that and that is the Blender Gamepad Camera Control. This brings the same functionality to Blender. You can connect a game controller and maneuver the camera smoothly, capturing dynamic shots with the precision and ease of gamepad controls. Whether you are creating cinematic sequences, walkthroughs or motion graphics, this add-on gives you a hands-on approach transforming how you interact with camera animations in Blender. In Cinema 4D, you have the ability to add cloth wrinkles to any character without creating a cloth simulation that can take time to set up and can also be taxing on your computer. You can have the same functionality inside Blender if you use an add-on like this folds modifier. It works really great on sterilized characters that don't need highly detailed wrinkles. It is a geometry node setup based on tension maps and textures that you can draw and bake from a high resolution model. It is a fantastic way to quickly add believable cloth detail while keeping the scene lightweight and responsive in Blender. Retopology is a very important part of creating 3D models, especially if you plan on animating or creating deformation on your models or characters. Maya has a feature called Quad Draw that makes creating retopology quite easy. Now, thanks to Mark Kingston, we have a new add-on called Quad Maker that replicates the same functionality inside Blender. You can simply just draw on the surface of your mesh and the add-on will figure out the right topology to create for that surface, which will simplify and speed up your remeshing efforts. Blender has the ability to create amazing fluffy fur, but all of that ability is behind complicated workflows and setups. Thanks to artists like Blender Procedure, these complicated setups have been packed into a nice add-on so that you can create all different kinds of fluffy characters by just choosing from a list of templates. Now all you have to do is just decide how fluffy your characters have to be and you don't have to think about the technical bits of creating fluffy fur. When it comes to making custom looking trees, Speed Tree is king at that. It's used in video games, movies and ACVs. It's the industry standard for making trees. Nowadays, we get to see some of that functionality inside Blender thanks to add-ons like Shape a Tree. You can create magical trees in any shape or make them spell out words. Without an add-on like this, it would be pretty much impossible. You can create any type of tree you want, give them a bunch of branches and even create custom looking roots. 
Most times shape trees like this are created for the main trees or the hero tree. But if you want to populate large areas, you rarely want to spend that much time customizing each tree. It's always better to just pull from a library of trees. And this tree library has over 140 animated assets that you can easily customize. You can customize the textures you're using for the tree bark, customize the leaf texture so that you can capture all the different seasons in air to give your trees a different look. This is a new library, so you can get it at a launch discount of 25% if you use the links in the description. Thinking of adding water to your scene, the physical water add-on brings the most realistic shader on the market. It supports caustics, refractions, collisions and more. The shader even captures everything beneath the water, creating a detailed map used for realistic reflections and refractions. You get incredibly detailed water in both EV and cycles, perfect for bringing that extra level of realism to your scenes. Don't get stuck with old modeling techniques. Try new ones that are faster and more efficient, like using curve modeling. This approach is amazing for hard surface modeling and product design, letting you shape smooth curved surfaces with ease. While Blender doesn't have this by default, this add-on makes it possible, giving you a fully procedural way to model objects with more complex curved surfaces. The Blender Game Engine was once a beloved feature of Blender, but it was removed when the Blender organization shifted focus to the core development with Blender 2.5. Fortunately, the community brought this powerful tool back to life, a feature you may have forgotten about. And here's the best part. You don't have to be a game developer to make the most of it. You can use it to block out scenes, create dynamic camera movements, set up rigid body physics, and so much more. This world is us versus them. Small independent artists against the big established names. They have got huge teams and we have got ourselves. I make a car, you make the characters, someone else makes the buildings and together we bring a whole city to life. That's the spirit behind the city generator. I can't say when you will need a fully built city in Blender with buildings, people, traffic and everything. But when that time comes, you should know that someone have already thought of you and made a city generator for you so that you can focus on the important parts that build your story, knowing the heavy lift of modeling an entire city is already done for you. And it doesn't end there. If you need interior scenes, Intanic has got you covered with every asset you could want. Chairs, sofas, utensils, curtains, you name it, all prepped and ready for render time. This is the way. You might be working solo, but somehow you are not alone in this. The community is here to make sure you don't have to sweat for every pixel you render. We are here to help. Thank you for watching. If you find any of these useful, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to check out my new course, Mastering Geometry Nodes. You can get a 25% discount. Links are in the description.